All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're taking a look at this. This is the Orient Mako 2. Uh, this is obviously the uh, black dial version. I just took this uh, off my own wrist uh, today. Here's the box that it comes in. Uh, nothing critically uh, special. It's just a little pleather uh, sort of box. It's got their little logo on there. There's a pillow and some instructions inside. Nothing too spectacular. Now, if you don't own an Orient Mako 2, then uh, shame on you. Shame on me. I've been into watches uh, for some time, but I've, I've seriously started collecting at the beginning of 2020. Uh, so for just uh, almost four months now. Uh, and the Orient has always been on my radar. It's the best bang for the buck uh, budget watch, and it's always uh, in conversation, but I have relented uh, on picking up one. So let's go over it today and talk a little bit more about why uh, you should purchase one right now. Let's get the price out of the way. It's $116 as it stands today, March the 27th, 2020. 116 bucks. Comes in a diff couple different colors. There's a Pepsi bezel uh, with a blue uh, sunburst uh, dial. There's this, the all black uh, sort of matte version, which I absolutely love. Can't go wrong with a nice little uh, black dial uh, dive watch. And then there's just a plain blue version, which is also stunning. I'm sure if you've seen a couple of reviews, uh, you'll see the blue dial version. I wanted to get the black dial version. So we'll go over uh, a couple things. So dimensions wise, uh, I did measure this myself, uh, 41 and a half millimeters. So pretty, uh, pretty close to the stock uh, Submariner dimensions. And this is obviously what that uh, goes over. Uh, this is 13 millimeter thick, so pretty uh, thin. Uh, it's not a, not a very chunky uh, watch here. A uh, lug tip to lug tip, it's 46, so it wears very small, even on my uh, little baby wrists. I have like a six inch wrist or, uh, or five and a half inch wrist. Uh, it's very, very small. And this watch uh, wears incredibly well. I try not to wear watches uh, with a lug to lug over 46. So this this one fits absolutely well. Uh, the band uh, drops right off. So it, it, it wears very, very thin on the wrist. Uh, it's obviously uh, powered by an automatic movement, uh, hacking, hand winding. Uh, let me open up the YouTube listing here. It is Orient's own in-house movement that's here. A 20 millimeter on the bandwidth, by the way. And the band, we'll get into that later. I like it, but I don't like it. Uh, it is their Orient Caliber F6922 automatic movement. It is a high beat uh, 21,600 uh, hertz movement that's in there, and it's amazing. Uh, I think it really outshines the uh, typical Seiko NH35 or 36 that you'll see in a lot of automatic watches, and uh, it's it's pretty incredible. So I am thoroughly disappointed not only in myself that I have not picked up one yet. So uh, 20 millimeters, uh, it tapers down a little bit to, I want to say like 18 millimeters, back up to 22 at the clasp, very Seiko style dual pusher um, clasp here. Uh, very sturdy. I even like the little uh, chamfering that they did in there. Uh, everything looks really, really great. Nice Orient logo, uh, very deeply etched in there. Uh, really, really great. And I, are you kidding me? This is $116. That's the size that I have my watch. You can get an idea of how uh, tiny my little baby wrists are. Uh, the uh, dual pushers uh, are, are great there. Now on the inside, uh, nothing too fancy there. See, I haven't even taken the sticker off yet. I was so excited to get this on my wrist. Uh, there are not uh, solid end links on there. You can see those are hollow. Uh, so that's sort of in the uh, gripes uh, section coming up here. A screw down back or screw down case back. So that uh, helps with the 200 meters of water resistance. Wouldn't be a dive watch without it, right? Now, this is not technically a dive watch. If you do use this for diving, it is not ISO certified. Even on Orient's page, it says for, you know, water sports and swimming and other things like that, this can take a, a trip in the ocean, obviously, or, or in a very deep swimming pool, but it is not a dive watch. So keep that in mind. But honestly, for 116 bucks, I, I wouldn't want it to be. Uh, love the design. Uh, it's obviously no no coating on there. There's no sapphire 
on this. It's just a mineral crystal glass, but that's to be expected for the price point. 120 click unidirectional bezel. Uh, the bezel is probably my biggest gripe. I mean, you really got to get in there and, and, and wring this thing's neck to turn that. So I don't use the dive bezel too, too much. In, in this watch. I do love the day date uh, complex and the day date window that's there. Uh, it has that nice uh, gilded edge around it. All the indices are applied here, so it's nothing's printed on. Uh, even the Orient uh, logo that's there is applied. Uh, the writing, uh, Orient Automatic, and then the water resistant 200 meters, that's obviously written on there. But other than that, everything is applied. Everything is very well centered. It's not, you know, cockeyed to one to one side or anything like that. Really, really well done. And again, this is all in-house. Everything from the movement. Uh, there's a 316L stainless steel case, uh, case back, uh, body, crown, bracelet, all of that good stuff. Uh, it does have a screw down uh, crown, obviously, uh, that assists in the 200 meters of water resistance. So you'll have to unscrew this. Uh, it's got the Orient logo there on the side. Again, hacking hand winding. It's also self winding, so it'll kind of go off of your wrist. There is a 40 hour power reserve, and it's really a true 40 hours. I've, I've timed it a couple times over the last couple of days that I've had it, and it's rare that some of my watches make it through the night. I don't usually, I, tr I trade my watches just about every day. So with my automatics, I'm almost constantly winding them uh, at, the, at the start of the day and getting them uh, sized up and, and, and uh, synced again. So the crown guards are great. Uh, it is uh, polished here on the sides here, which already looks like uh, garbage because I've been handling uh, this watch. So you've got some polished surface here. Uh, you can see that uh, the tops of the case are brushed and I think they do a really really good job there uh, there's a little bit of different brushing you can kind of tell between the case and the bracelet bracelet is weirdly big uh, for this this size of watch I would expect something uh, much less larger uh, than that it almost makes it look very very small on wrist with how big this is I like that it's a completely brushed bracelet uh, so it's not going to scratch sometimes uh, especially when you're uh, copying or, or homaging to a uh, Rolex Submariner like this does. You'll have the uh, polished uh, section here on the middle, and that is just terrible uh, and is going to get scratched, uh, in my opinion. So I, I do enjoy the bracelet. Uh, it is polished here on the sides. You can see it's already nice and fingerprinted uh, from me. Uh, so it's definitely something that you'll polish when you put it on your wrist. I do really enjoy the sword hands that are here. The second hand uh, is great. The hour hand, I feel like maybe could be a little bit longer. It, it seems very awkward. I uh, cannot get over how outstanding that red pipped uh, second hand is. Uh, that The eye catches that uh, incredibly well, and it does just a great, great job. Just below the uh, 6 o'clock position there, you can see the uh, Japanese movement that's in there and then there's a reference number for that um, and and it wears great I'll go ahead and uh, put it on my wrist again I have like baby wrists uh, essentially and that's what it looks like on wrist for me if I can get that uh, in focus so uh, pretty nice uh, it does have some quick adjustment uh, on here uh, it doesn't have any Rolex style quick adjustments just you know the little push pins that are there Speaking of push pins, these are solid end links. Uh, they're not hollow in any way. The uh, do use push pins, but that's to be expected for the hundred dollar price range. And you don't get any screw links or anything like that in it. Uh, I actually took out two on each side, uh, so this will uh, work with uh, you folks that uh, have some larger wrists there. So outstanding watch again, one hundred and sixteen dollars. Really hard to get something with these specs in this price range with this level of quality. Orient really has the market uh, locked down. Uh, and especially, it comes in an overly nice box. It's not Rolex or uh, Omega or anything like that. Um, but the box and the price and the entire experience that I've had uh, with this is great. Again, bezel, massively hard to uh, turn that. Doesn't really have that nice little coinage bezel. It's a little strange, the bezel that's there. But other than that, uh, outstanding. So let me go to the uh, Amazon link here while we've got a couple minutes uh, left in this video. 
um, Orient, by the way, has been making watches for 65 years. I didn't know that. I thought Orient was just kind of a pop-up micro brand that's been around for a little while. Now, it's been around for 65 years. All movements are, are made in Japan. Since 1950, Orient Watch has been dropping unique, superior quality timepieces. Today, Orient continues to hone its craft by developing unparalleled mechanical movement and redefined styling by utilizing the latest Japanese street fashion for the world to consume. Uh, again, 40-hour power reserve, 200 meters water resistance, 660 feet. Uh, let's see, it's been around since 2010. A mineral crystal, analog watch, 13 millimeter case thickness, 20 millimeter band, dive watch, day date complication. Uh, it weighs almost 13 ounces, so it does have a little bit of heft to it. Uh, and then it's automatic hand winding and hacking movement. So uh, absolutely incredible. Go pick yourself up one. Uh, I hope to add a couple more Orients to my collection. They have a wide range of excellent dive watches, dress watches, and more. So uh, stay tuned, guys. We're going to be looking at a couple more watches, and we'll see you in the next one.